So the new Predator movie apparently is coming out. It's going to be shit. And I half expected when I heard about it and sat down and watched the trailer to see a bunch of comments uh, that were showing uh, negative reactions or trepidation, but actually there was almost none. I just have to accept now that the movie going audience is stupid. You are all very fucking stupid. I mean, the only people this movie is going to please are feminists and social justice warriors. Oh, Darren, you're just saying that because there's a woman in the trailer. Not quite. So I sat down and watched the trailer. What's the first words spoken in the trailer? Man, why do you want to hunt? Female protagonist, because you think I can't instantaneous 10 billion red flags, a sea of red flags, a fucking ocean of red flags, immediate feminist messaging. Oh, woman in a man's world thing. But I'm like, okay, it's Native Americans. I'm watching a little further. Some of the special effects and some of the scene ideas looked pretty interesting, like the idea of the chick. Unfortunately, the trailer spoiled what probably would have been the most memorable scene in the movie from the look of it, which is she's hunting a bear, the bear chases her down, the bear nearly kills her, and then something invisible kills and drags the bear off. Okay, that would have been great. And then it shows something lifting the bear, invisible, lifting the bear over its he head in front of the girl. And I'm like, do you think the audience is stupid? All you had to do was just have the bear disappear. Just sl magically slide like something dragged it and then disappear. And then you overdid the scene. That's 10,000 red flags number two. And then as I was watching going, okay, not everything in this looks bad. And even if it's an annoying feminist movie, it can't all be that. Eventually most of the tribe's gonna die and it's gonna be her versus the predator and maybe something can happen. And then I had this thought and I went, well, I can't tell what time period this movie is in, but if there's no white people in this trailer and it's just Comanche Indians and the Predator, maybe it'll be okay. Five seconds later, there's white guys with old-timey muskets shooting. It's going to be shit. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. If there are white people in there and there's a female protagonist and the first thing she says is, oh, you think I can't hunt? And, and then like the next thing she says is I'm trying to protect you as the men blow her off and call her an idiot. This movie's going to be more about white people and feminism than it is going to be about the predator. And here's the first red flag you should have noticed before you even fucking saw any of this trailer it's direct to Hulu there has been a small smattering on any streaming service whatsoever mostly Netflix but there's been a small sm smattering of decent direct to streaming service videos or movies out there films and then there's been about a thousand piles of shit. Predator, despite all the fuckery that Fox has done to this franchise, still makes money when it goes to the theater. And people, despite the pandemic, despite all this shit, are still going to the theater. And clearly, there's some very Hollywood message propaganda going on in this film. So if this film goes straight to Hulu, not Prime, not HBO Max, not Netflix, Hulu, seriously? One thing I could almost say is a positive selling point for this movie is the guy who directed this Prey movie is the guy who directed 10 Cloverfield Lane, which was a decent little movie, but it too had a shoehorned in premise. Um, that movie script was obviously not written to be a Cloverfield movie. They just put that in in the last 10 minutes, literally. But it was not a bad film. It was actually a pretty decent little horror title. 
So, but that's the only thing this director has ever directed that's a big budget film or even just a film film, like period. It's like his only major feature direction. And that was like 10 years ago now that 10 Cloverfield Lane came out. Or not quite that long, but somewhere around theirs. I don't see any reason to think this movie won't be shit. And I don't know why you would either. I don't know what else there is to say about this. Anything else would be too long-winded, but... Go watch that trailer and tell me I'm wrong. If you just pay attention to what looks like a very well edited trailer, it doesn't look half bad. But we'll see. And mark my words, it'll be shit. <laughs>